My name is Yulik Dina, and I'm a physician scientist and pediatric oncologist at the Sydney Kimmel Comprehensive Cancer Center at Johns Hopkins. As part of the Pediatric Bone Marrow Transplant Program, I take care of children who are in need of a bone marrow transplant, most commonly because they have some form of aggressive leukemia or other cancer. A bone marrow transplant, or BMT as we call it, sounds like a surgery, but it is not. It is a procedure where we can replace the patient's blood and immune cells using stem cells from a donor. And it usually involves a round of chemotherapy or radiation, followed by the IV infusion of the stem cells. The first ever successful bone marrow transplant was performed in 1956 in a child with leukemia. And we have come a long way since then, but there is still work to be done. As a physician scientist, I consider myself very fortunate that I get to take care of children with cancer, but I also get to do research in the lab to help my patients. Our lab focuses on a complication of BMT called graft-versus-host disease, where the donor cells, the graft, can recognize the patient, the host, as foreign and attack the patient's organs. It can be very problematic to treat, and it can even be fatal. However, if the donor cells instead recognize leukemia cells or residual cancer cells, we call that graft versus leukemia activity, and that is in fact very desirable. So in our lab, we use mouse models of bone marrow transplant where mice are transplanted in a very similar way to humans to understand why the donor immune system sometimes causes graft versus host disease and others not, and why sometimes there is enough graft versus leukemia activity and others not. Specifically, we are interested in how epigenetic modifications inform the donor immune response. Epigenetic modifications are changes that can turn genes on and off, but don't affect the DNA sequence itself. We believe that epigenetic modifications are crucial both to the development of graft-versus-host disease and also to the graft-versus-leukemia effects. In this way, we hope to find new pathways to target that can treat graft-versus-host disease without compromising graft-versus-leukemia activity or to maximize graft-versus-leukemia activity without hurting the patient. Ultimately, our goal is that every child who needs a bone marrow transplant can get one safely and effectively without ever worrying that their cancer might come back.